Logic manufacture two ranges of electro broadcaster with options of two motor sizes and a hopper capacity of either 85 or 130 litres. The TFL 80 series electro broadcaster, complete with 85 litre hopper, was originally designed for use with the ATV, whereas the 130 litre hopper machine is a more recent addition to the range and is designed for working on utility vehicles, larger tractors and implements, or specialist machinery such as a self-propelled sprayer. The ATV mount kit with brackets allows the broadcaster to quickly and simply be fixed to the ATV, with each of the two clamps securely holding the wooden base to the ATV rear carrier. The 12 volt electric power is supplied by the optional Logic AE500 wiring harness, which incorporates an on-off switch. This can be mounted onto the ATV handlebars. Once the switch is turned on, the disc motor powers the disc to full speed, ready for the hopper contents to be spread. The output is controlled by the manual lever, which opens and shuts the slide covering the two apertures, allowing the contents out onto the disc. A separate flow rate control has 12 different setting positions, which gives the ability to apply application rates between 2 to 50 kilograms per hectare. It is also possible to change the bias setting on the machine to ensure the contents are spread evenly. Two more options of the powered and synchro models are also available in both motor sizes. The powered models offer a remote in-cab control box with one switch to activate the motor and a second switch to open and close the powered actuator. This means all of the operations are carried out remotely from the electro broadcaster, so the operator can carry out all of the functions required whilst driving in the cab. The synchro models also have the same switches as the powered models, but in addition offer a way of slowing the motor speed down. This allows the operator to fit the material spreading width to a required width of machine, implement or tram lines. This is especially useful when mounting the electro broadcaster onto something like a set of harrows or rolls for spreading grass seeds. Here is the bench test of the synchro electro broadcaster, showing the options available to the user of this model. Firstly, there is a disc stall light, which shows there is a startup problem with the machine. We now switch on the motor as normal and will reduce the speed down to the minimum 20% to show how the synchro facility works. The disc motor will always start on full speed until the powered on-off control actuator is switched on. Once this happens, the motor reduces speed to the required speed as on the control box. Here we show the motor being increased to approximately 40%. Now at 60%, up to 80%, finally at 100% full speed. There is one more feature on this model. We can switch the turbo boost which gives the motor a further 500 rpm, taking the maximum disc speed up to 3500 rpm, a unique feature on the Logic Electro Broadcaster to maximise spreading distance when required. This is especially useful when needing to get slug pellets out to a maximum distance to fit with tramline widths. Now, let's go out in the field and show you the electro broadcasters in use. Before we start, here is the optional calibration chute being fitted to the machine. This allows you to collect the contents over a time trial to ensure you are applying the correct quantity. We are now showing the EBC TFL120 model series, which is the high capacity motor, suitable for larger machines including this UTV shown here. We have calibrated this to spread the ESP slug pellet at a rate of 5 kg per hectare, at a speed of 15 km per hour, at a width of 24 meters. Here is the ATV with the EBC TFL80 model series. You will notice that the ATV is travelling much faster in this setup but the spread width is only 12 metres. The spread width has naturally reduced due to a combination of higher speed, more pellets on the disc, lower disc height and a smaller vehicle battery and charging system. So which machine is for you? If you are still unsure, please speak to either Logic or Logic's local dealer and we will advise accordingly.